request to Governor Schwarzenegger to cancel the proposed sale of the Orange County Fairgrounds. Okay, if uh, if everyone can please hold 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 your applause, please. I I really we need to, to we need to follow that please this evening. Um, Mayor Pro Tem Lease and Council Member Foley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, as many of you know, we member Mayor Pro Tem Lease and myself have asked the council tonight to confirm our position as to the sale of the fairgrounds. And while we are considering all of our options, whether it be submitting a bid or um, putting a ballot initiative together to restrict the zoning and the uses for the fairground, it is important overall that we stop the sale now because that's critical to anything else that might happen in the future given the fast pace that we've seen this uh, progress more so than any other government process I've ever experienced. And so <laughs> uh, it's a little concerning. We have a PowerPoint presentation. We, we think it's important for not only the community, but the governor to understand the chronology of how we got here and where we are and where we want to go. So with that, Ms. Brandt, can you assist us, please? Thank you. Next slide. So as we all know, this is uh, the location of the fairgrounds. Next slide. And in 1992, the city actually adopted our general plan designation for the site as fairgrounds. So it is included in our general plan. Next slide. In 2004, when this issue came before us previously because of someone's idea to raise some money to help pay the debts at the state level, um, the city council then adopted a resolution opposing the sale of the property or any relocation of the Orange County Fairgrounds as proposed in what was then the California Performance Report. And here we are again in May of 2009 after the state budget yet again was in a deficit, uh, the governor proposed a sale of state assets, including the Orange County Fairgrounds. However, as we all know, only the Orange County Fairgrounds was left in that uh, list of state assets to be sold that were of public amenities other than office buildings that they're going to lease back. Next slide, please. In June of 2009, prior to any legislation put forth to sell the fairgrounds, the city council again adopted a resolution opposing the sale, closure, or relocation of the Orange County Fairgrounds. We reconfirmed our position as to the general plan designation and that we wanted the site to maintain itself as a fairgrounds for institutional recreational purpose. We sent a cover letter of the resolution to Assemblyman Van Tran, Senator Tom Harmon, the State League of California Cities, the Orange County Division of the League of California Cities and others. And it was, I'm sure many of you read about it in the newspaper as well. So we tried to do what we could to send a message to the state that we wanted to maintain the site as a fairgrounds. The Orange County, next slide, the Orange County Board of Supervisors then jumped on board and they passed their own resolution supporting the fairgrounds and maintaining it here in Costa Mesa and not selling it. Member Lee, do you wanna? Well, I just it? thank you, Member Foley. I do wanna state that that letter that we sent to the governor uh, and the, the cover letter that was dated June 12th and the resolution uh, really emphasized our point that the whole sale was short-sighted and that the marketplace provided employment to thousands of individuals and uh, there was a lot of business going on and uh, tax, it generated income tax proceeds for all of those employees at 180 million to the state and that there was resounding outpouring of public response uh, in, in 2004 that sent a clear message then uh, to the governor and to the legislature. And so we felt by doing this that we were, we were sending a very strong message to the governor. H however, I don't think we got a response. We didn't get a response, and apparently no one heard us. 
So the state legislature passed uh, AB X422, which authorized the governor to offer the Orange County Fairgrounds for sale, and that occurred in July of this year of 2009. Mind if I interject sure. real quick? I think we did get a response, and the response well, no, wasn't we, what we wanted to no, hear. Yeah. Well, we didn't I, get the in, response in the, yet. Yes, we'll get there. I think we got a negative <laughs> response but based on what's going forward, and that's I, you true. know. Um, and then in October of this year, again, without really any consultation from our city or our county, the State Department of General Services released their request for proposals for the sale of the fairgrounds. Now I want to thank our staff, Ms. Brandt, Mr. Roeder, I'm sure Ms. Barlow had some play in it, for really trying to present information to the Department of General Services to be included in the request for proposals to make sure that any potential bidder or buyer knew that all we wanted was what was here now, an Orange County Fair and Exposition Center. But that's not what the bid uh, request for proposal said. It says to the highest bidder, and it invites and encourages something other than a fairground because it has language in the request for proposal that, uh, that creates a, a agreement, a sales agreement between any potential buyer and the state so that the state can continue to make reven uh, revenue off of the sale and the profits of anything that's developed there. Mayor Pro Tem Lee. Well, uh, the reading from the document exactly, the state profit participation requirement, in addition to the initial cash payment for the property, the state will retain the right to profit participation in the property in the event that all or a portion of the property is no longer used for a fairground and event uses. Uses The state will exercise this right through recordation of the profit participation covenant as a deed restriction on the title to the property. So it's so, pretty serious. So we, we tried a new approach, remember, <laughs> or Ms. Brandt? And uh, at that time, our city council unanimously voted to direct preparation of a specific plan for the Orange County Fairgrounds site. And the staff is currently in the process of working on the language of what that specific plan might include. Um, but we directed that it take into consideration the existing master plan for the fairgrounds now, the existing uses that are there now, and ensure that the, the, the specific plan secures those uses for the future. Um, next slide, thank you. Uh, any, did you want to add anything? No, that's okay. fine. You're doing great. Um, <laughs> and then we got the nasty gram, I'll call it, <laughs> um, from the Department of General Services advising our city to take a step back and refrain from taking any action. And we, of course, feel strongly that this nasty gram was not appropriate. It's our city. Our, we are here to advocate for our residents and what our city and what is important to our residents and in our community. You can clap. Well, actually, <laughs> actually we, we need to be respectful. Please, I'm going to ask that people hold, mm. hold your applause. Well, they were holding. Well, I understand that. I, I understand that, and, and I, you're an attorney, and you, I think you fully understand it. Mm. Please, please hold your applause, um, so we can uh, conduct our city uh, business. Okay. Thank you. Next slide, please. Uh, you want to speak to this, Mayor Pro Tem Lee? Okay. Well, the city uh, council received advisement from our city attorney regarding the use of the initiative process, which which residents had suggested and we had talked about also for voter established land use designation for the Orange County Fairgrounds. And at this time, the staff is uh, preparing that initiative language, which we have to finish by February for it to be on the, is it the June, June ballot. So that is, there, there's a lot of things that are going on simultaneously. And so that one is, is moving along. So just to recap, we passed a resolution opposing the sale before the property was put up for sale. Once the property was put up for sale, we again expressed our objection to the sale and passed a 
a unanimous, unanimous